okay so now when we say these three instances okay in our practice in our classes we will be always seeing one only why because we don't have option but in real time you will be having three what you do in this three that is also you should we should understand okay because uh, yeah. so what you do in this three anyone have any idea maybe whoever already knew service no? sir one is for development another for testing, testing yes. and one? third one is production means live it is yeah so, like uh, end user right end user yes any uh, maybe i didn't understand your point okay i don't know anything about service now so can you just give me with one example that helps me to understand easily we have we have close to 60 people here 50 people not everyone yeah. will understand with the same thing no? dev test part simple it's it's developer work okay yesterday i sent that uh, champ uh, that uh, what is that ma that, that this one this one i sent huh? so see our work will be okay Rick, we are here okay the production is the live right in the production instance everyone of our organization will log in and use what does it mean okay so let's see in the other way okay i have one icsa account okay so i want to do something today maybe transaction or checking or checking the mini statement or downloading the instance do downloading the uh, maybe statement something something what i do ma i will log into icsa.com right this one i will log in okay what it is doing when i log in it is connecting me to the uh, account which is there in icsa server and then i can see my data agree everyone yes sir yes Yes, and today my my one of the account is got got stuck maybe so i want to raise a complaint here there only in the portal login only i can raise a complaint also agree maybe a ticket incident or a ticket yes right so what is that is i am connecting to do my work and also i can i am also connecting to report something an issue or requesting new thing maybe i want i want a new checkbook i can request there right so i am the customer i am the end user okay so i log into this particular portal to do my job which is related to that particular work it could be anything right so this is the one okay this is the live one and this is the live one so these two are matched okay whatever you are seeing here this one and this one they are same okay every so now when i say i Okay, whoever have ICSA account, everyone can log in, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right? So, let's say ICSA bank have 1 lakh users, 1 lakh customers. Okay, everyone can log into this one. So, this is a live environment. This is production one. Okay. Similarly, in our service now also, if our AXA bank have maybe, okay, 25,000 employees, when you say employees, they are everyone means customers okay 25,000 customers are users i can say users platform users okay we'll start using the exact words users here okay one lakh users right so that means 25,000 people can log into the system to do their job that's for the statement agree my everyone Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Now, this is a live environment. Everyone will log in. So here, twenty-five thousand users. Let's say, okay, come back to bank. Okay, I am a customer. I will log into the system. Okay. So, will the bank manager also will be logging to the system? Same system or ba for bank managers there would be some other link. ICICI Bank dot managers dot com something. No, same. Same. So the bank manager is also one of the one lakh persons yes right so when you say users they are users with, with, res with respect to of what is what privileges what roles they have okay to access the data everyone are users okay here also when we say twenty-five thousand people okay 
here everyone are users first and then they have different different privileges we will we will be seeing what kind of privilege it is and a privilege mean what right so now coming back to this one and this one okay will 25000 people will be having dev, dev access dev instance access no 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 anyone say yes here by any chance no okay so who will be accessing dev and why they will be accessing dev developers only, only developer can access um, only can uh, access so only developers okay so coming back to icaca okay so see here the development process what kind of development process we generally do are not only for we service no people but anyone okay you are seeing a page here okay let me log in okay okay i don't oh, i don't have much money to let's see how much i have to even i didn't know so see here this is only for option ma okay uh, yeah right so right now okay these are the options i have it you can see options right you, you can see all these options here okay this is the page this is how they developed it okay now tomorrow someone will come and say i want a new option here pause to pay okay maybe i say say bank is attaching maybe with uh, this pay phone pay paytm or something like this okay you need to align your account to your uh, what you call ma? these all mobile apps to send the hand mobile no hand mobile uh, sick Secure, no, UPA. Ah, UPA. Okay, UPA. 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 Align your bank with UPA. You have an option here only. Okay. So you have an option. So how they develop it? Where they develop it? You are you are improving your platform. Okay. Where everyone can see. So you take that into developer. So I say say bank page developers. Okay. Will take that into here and then they develop here. Right. First point is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Sir. Everyone clear, ma? Yes. Okay. Once they developed it, then they move the they. Okay. Let's write it in a, uh, this terminology. Okay. So ICICA dev is there. One is there. Okay. ICICA test one more will be there. Okay. And ICICA final is there. Production. So ICICA page developers, they develop this particular UPI option here. Okay, and they will test it regressively. Once they feel like it is the one which they got as a requirement, they will move that same change to ICS test portal. Okay, then who will be testing it? Whoever given the requirement, the customer and the managers, UAT people, testers, everyone will be testing it. Once Sir, one question. Hama, uh, couldn't it be? test on development uh, instance itself why to have a separate instance to test and develop no so let's say you you are a developer okay mm -hmm. and i ask you i am a pro team team leader and i got uh, my work from uh, dasradram okay dasradram okay. is our customer right okay. so customer is given me okay work to develop a upi okay upi option here in the portal so you developed it. What is your name? Neha, sir. Neha, right? Neha Lal. So you developed it. Okay. And then you uh, the question or expectation from your side is why we need to have separate one? Why can't we test it in develop only? Okay. Yes. Right. So developer instance is a crumgy instance. We will be doing so many R and D's. It is not the one which we use for testing. Okay. So when you are developing it, you do so many things. Right? and you test it there but you can't give access to your project manager or maybe the person that's rather wrong to test the same thing in dev what you have is you will be maintaining one more instance called test instance where you don't move every of your code you move what is the final output of your code okay and this platform will be accessed by our uat testers testers and the customer like that's rather wrong where they will check and then they will test it and confirm whether they have all the functionalities and all. Okay. So let's say Dasaradaram tested as part of UAT. Okay. What is UAT? I will just cover it in, in a minute. Okay. So he found like, okay, it is working fine, but you need to rename it. 
ICICI UPA options. You given UPA options, but you add you ask you to add ICICI UPA options. Then you go back to development and then retest, redo it, and then push that last change to again test. You got it, ma? Why we, Sir, do, we do the same? Uh, we do the same when we move it, move the instance from testing no, no, no. to production we, also. We do the same in the sense we do the same development that you are referring or what? When we when we say when we do the same, what what is the same here? As in, uh, while we are moving from UAT to production, also oh. <clears throat> we follow the same thing. As in, uh, moving moving you... pattern, the changes moving is same. How you move from dev to test, we yeah. also follow the same method to move the things from test to prod. That is not our prod. That is not our uh, question here. No? Like that answer is yes for you. Yeah, but the question is why test is required. Right? Yes. Did, did I answer your question? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Huh. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So see here, three instances developers will do. Okay, and we you you get some kind of enhancements to the existing product. Okay, that you take care in dev, and you move to test instance where your team testers, okay, are UAT people will test it, and maybe you can say under R, okay, customer will test it means requester okay once you are done with that then one fine day you will move the same changes to production live environment once you move to live environment every of the user who uses this one will see this you are getting it ma everyone yes no yes sir okay yes sir yes so this yes, sir. is this is the normal methodology we follow okay the methodology will be called as agile methodology Okay, this is actually development life cycle. The one which we which we just covered is development life cycle (STLC). Okay, to develop anything, we we follow this one. So here, analyze. Okay, and then develop. I am not writing everything. Maybe it may change one or two. Okay, develop, and then uh, in development also after development smoke test we call it as developer testing. Okay, and then general testing (QA), internal testing or internal testing. Names will be different, ma. Okay, and then UAT. QA means quality assurance. QC, some people will QT something or testing only internal testing. UAT means user acceptance testing. Okay, and then maybe if you have something called documentation, you can say after UAT docs or evidence and all, or finally production movement, production live. Okay. This is how generally the developments will take care of. Okay, anything I missed it, maybe one or two, it is okay. Okay, it's not like perfect, but we follow extra one or two also based on your client and definition of the project. But these are the basic things. Now, this particular one, once a developer got the story or a work, he will analyze it first, he will develop it, he will test it in dev, and then he will move to test and then ask internal testing. Like in our development team, only one tester will be there. Okay, he will be testing it completely and then we ask Dasarad Ram to test it again where he is the customer, he need to agree it, he will test it. Okay, where these two will be done? Where these two testings will be done? Which instance? Test instance. Test instance. Yes. Right? And then yeah, once the testing is completed, everything, everyone are satisfied. Okay, then we move the same thing like how we move from dev to test we move it from test to prod that means it is available in live environment so that day onwards that time onwards everyone like me who logged into the system can see this option okay similarly right here okay what we do as a developer